living out in France, you'd expect I'd be out fishing all the time. This couldn't be further from the truth. The boat rental business takes up a lot of time and we've just finished a full property renovation. So when I got the green light for three nights bank time, I was super gassed and could not wait to get started. With all that moaning about not getting enough bank time aside, living 30 minutes from the river certainly does as its perks. We've carved a £60 puss in most of our stretches. It really does light my fire. True, raw and wild fishing, taking it back to how it used to be. Monster wild carp and a man with a burning desire to succeed. On this particular session, I'll be targeting a stretch of river that has a real big place in my heart. A difficult stretch and one that I'll soon be able to call home. After baiting a few likely areas a few days ago, I'm filled with eager anticipation. Anyway, let's get this boat unloaded and get this job done. So wild day, we've had absolutely everything. I mean, the first night I thought there was a monkey up the tree because the heron had landed and it was growling at me. Um, it sounded like a monkey. <laughs> I don't know whether I'd been smoking too much. I was like, what the fuck, man? Uh, so yeah, I was a bit, uh, I was a bit freaky. Um, I've seen kingfishers, I've seen woodpeckers, I've seen otters. It's just been a truly magical, wild experience. Just sat out here, man, and just loving life. Um, and I've got a few bangers to show for my efforts. So, short session, session, the fucking can't speak today. Short session, success. That's a twister. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm absolutely buzzing. And well, what a beautiful way to start the day. They're pretty lively. Coming. It's about the 37, 38 mark. I guess I'm not bothering weighing it very, very lively. But, uh, yeah, a quick video and then we'll get it back. Beautiful wild creature, so powerful and so intelligent, unbelievable. That is what we call a fine example of a river lock carp, river lock magic, oh, pearl river carp. Cat Pirates Creed update, about 53 offerings, what an immaculate cat that is. I'll get her on, well happy with that. Move see Boku. Well, blown away with this one. 
proper proper battle proper cap 43 pound 12 absolutely blown away with this one come on get up there apologies for the terrible light but literally fishing in a little foxhole it's the only option i've got so i've come out in the water try and get a picture oh my god look at it proper beast 4312 Riverlock Gold. Come on! Get up there! Cat Pirates Adventures! You know it makes sense. Look at it. Beautiful cap. Wild and free. Just like its capture. Come on! Session update, <clears throat> it's feeling a bit fresh this morning, autumn is definitely on its way, um, but yeah what a fantastic session I've had, uh, been out on the river now for three nights, moved three times, um, landed in this swim, I had one fish from a swim further up this way, uh, the first swim that I started in, did one night in there, I had this real quasi mold all looking fish. Moved from there down towards the weir. Uh, did a night down by the way, the fish wasn't there, there's quite a lot of otters down there. Um, and then I moved and come into this swim where I am at the moment. Um, nothing last night, but the first night, or the first day was productive. Literally a couple of hours after I had the rods in, I had a beautiful fish at nearly, I think it was 33.12. Uh, sorry, 43.12, um, and then I had another 30 after that. Um, so I can't complain at all. <coughs> Two 30s and a 40 and a couple of nights fishing. It's not bad going for the river at all, um, so I'm absolutely buzzing to be honest. But I've literally I just got up now. Um, I was hoping to give it to about dinner time um, today because obviously there's still a good chance of getting a bite this morning. Um, but yeah, the water level's on its way up, man, and uh, it's not no, not going to be no fun. I've literally got about six foot between me and the water now. Uh, yesterday I probably had about 15 to 20. Um, I've just checked on the app and it has spiked in a big way um, and it's still spiking um, so this water level is going to come up the whole bivvy is going to be under the water um, probably in about an hour and a half um, I'm, I'm guessing um, so I've got to start getting a move on of which we just woke up rubbing my eyes I was looking at the water level and I thought shit man that's a little bit high um, it's coming through really fast. Luckily, I double rocked, so the rods are all still out there. I've got two rocks pinned down uh, with biodegradable um, cable ties, paper clips, just pinning, pinning everything down to the deck. Uh, so they're out there fishing, even though it's pissing through. Um, but yeah, I've not got much space left, really. Yeah, so the water's getting very close to the bivvy. This yesterday was just a complete mud bath, and the water yesterday was on this end of this, these trees here uh, so we've come back at least 10 foot towards me and um, it ain't even spiked yet this whole swim is good about to say swim it's not a swim this whole bush area is going to be completely under the water um, very very soon so it's time to get a move on and get the hell out of here but yeah proper success absolutely buzzing really nice session it's great to be out on the water <laughs> 